down or down alternative? Which one is right for you? Hey guys, it's Martin here from Matt Clarity, and today I'm gonna to answer just that question. I'm gonna talk about the similarities and the differences between down and down alternative comforters, and by the end of the video, help you decide which one is right for you. Let's get started. First off, if you want more information about down comforters or down alternative comforters, head over to mattnessclary.com. There you're going to find some great comforter reviews, some great pillow reviews, and mattress reviews as well. Also stick around at the end of the video, I'll be answering frequently asked questions about down and down alternative comforters. But what is the main difference between down comforters and down alternative comforters? Well, it's actually quite simple. It's just in the fill. With a down comforter, you're going to have a down filling. It's either going to come from ducks or from geese. Now, with that alternative, that fill is going to be not down, it's going to be something alternative to that, like a synthetic material such as polyester. That is the main difference between these two types of comforters, but because of that, you're going to find some other smaller differences. So I want to go into those each one by one, starting with warmth and breathability. Down is going to be generally warmer than a down alternative fill. That's because it expands more, it's more of an insulating material, so it's actually going to hold warmth better than what you get with a down alternative. But at the same time, it's going to be more breathable than a down alternative comforter. That's because, again, as it expands more, there is more room for airflow. So you get nice breathability, but at the same time, good warmth. With a down alternative, though, it can be a little bit thicker, a little bit less breathable, so you can sleep hot with a down alternative comforter. Now, a big thing people are looking for when they're looking for a comforter is fluff and loft. They're imagining sleeping under a cloud. Now, if you're thinking about that, you definitely want to go for a down comforter over a down alternative comforter. That is because down is going to expand more than the filling you're going to find in a down alternative comforter. With polyester like you find in a down alternative, it's not going to fluff up quite so much, not going to be quite that full fluffy feel overall. With a down comforter, however, that feel is going to expand quite a bit. If you find something with a high high fill power, like over 550 up to like 700, even 800, you're going to have a very, very fluffy down comforter. Now, if you're like me, you might struggle with allergies. And a big issue I have sleeping under a down comforter is it exacerbates my allergies. Now, that's because down comforters are known for trapping allergens like dust mites, pollen, other types of allergens. And I sometimes underneath that I get watery eyes, I get a stuffy nose, but I don't have an issue with a down alternative comforter. That's because down alternative comforters in general are going to be hypoallergenic, while most down comforters are not going to be hypoallergenic. So if you struggle with allergies, a down alternative comforter is usually going to be a better option. As with all types of bedding, it's so important to figure out how you're going to clean your down comforter or your down alternative comforter. Now, when it comes to cleaning, it's definitely easier to clean a down alternative comforter. That's because you can do it at home. You can put it into your washer and your dryer, do it at home very, very quickly. With a down comforter, most of the time you cannot wash that at home. You're going to have to take it to a laundromat or a dry cleaner. Now, I usually say with a down comforter, you're definitely going to want to use a duvet cover. That's because it makes it very, very easy to take the duvet cover off, wash just that so if you make any messes, it's just going to be on the duvet cover and not on the comforter itself. So when you're shopping for a comforter, you definitely want to think about how long is that comforter going to last? Is it going to break down quickly or last for many years? Now, when we're speaking about durability, usually down comforters are going to be more durable than down alternative comforters. That's because down fill is more resilient and more durable material than the fills you find in down alternative comforters. So while down comforters sometimes cost more than down alternative comforters, they are going to last a little bit longer. Now, as I just said, down comforters are usually going to cost more than down alternative comforters. That is not always the case. Some higher end down alternative comforters might cost more than a lower end down comforter, but in general, you're going to be spending more money with a down comforter. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, which one of these types of comforter should you get? Well, speaking of down comforters, they're going to be a better option for those who like something fluffier, something more full. In general, again, a down comforter is going to be fluffier than a down alternative comforter. So you like sleeping under a cloud, I would go for a down comforter. Also, speaking of warmth in general, a down comforter should be warmer than a down alternative comforter, but at the same time, it's more breathable. So if you want something warm and insulating, but doesn't make you overheat at night, I would go for a down comforter. And last but not least, if you want something that's going to last you for a good amount of time, I'd probably go for a down comforter as well. Well, they do cost more than down alternative, they are going to last for a good amount of time. 
So who should get a down alternative comforter? Well, first off, those with allergies are probably gonna prefer a down alternative comforter. The hyperallergenic, much less chance of causing and exacerbating your allergies. Also, if you wanna save some money up front, I would usually go with a down alternative comforter. They are usually gonna cost less than down comforters, so if you wanna save some money, again, on the front end, go with down alternative. And then last but not least, some people find down to be unethical the way it's harvested. So if you find it to be unethical for any reason, you can easily go with a down alternative comforter. So now I wanna answer some frequently asked questions about down and down alternative comforters. So the first question is, is down warmer than down alternative? Now in general, down is going to be warmer than down alternative comforters. It does depend on the weight, how much fill there is, but in general, down comforters are going to be warmer than down alternative comforters. Now the second question is, is down or down alternative better for those with allergies? Now in general, a down alternative comforter is going to be better for those with allergies. Down alternative comforters are hypoallergenic. They're not gonna trap allergens and exacerbate or cause allergies. Now the third question is, is down or down alternative better? Now I wouldn't say one is better than the other, it's more about what you're looking for. If you want something fluffier, warm yet breathable, you want something more durable, I would go for a down comforter. But if you struggle with allergies, you wanna save some money, you find down to be unethical, I would go with a down alternative. The last question is, is down fluffier than down alternative? And usually a down comforter is going to be fluffier than a down alternative comforter. The fills you find in a down comforter are just fluffier, they have more expansion, so if you want something fluffier, more cloud-like, I would go with a down comforter. At this point, you should know which one is right for you, a down comforter or a down alternative comforter. But if you're still a little bit confused or want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Also, one of the main sources of confusion when it comes to comforters is the difference between comforters and duvets. But I answered that very question in a great video. I definitely recommend checking it out. Also, if you're just getting started looking for comforters, mattresses, or pillows, head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe.